friends and welcome to another episode of the Urban Homesteading Channel Automotive Edition with Professor DIY and Elpida. If this is the first time you're visiting our channel, we want to extend to you a very, very warm welcome. If you've been here before or you're a subscriber, welcome back. We appreciate you visiting. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. So today we're here next to our forerunner because we have a, a sole problem with it. It starts beautifully every time, but when you stop, and try to restart the car tends to stall. And in investigating basic things, we found out that one of our main holes to the uh, uh, throttle control body has a rather nasty cut in it, right? Well, it's a crack. Right. Mm -hmm. Cut, crack, whatever it is. Well, a, cra a cut is more intentional. A crack is because it's worn right. and it's old. So we're going to change that today. And since we're going to be in the area, we're going to clean the intake, not the intake, the idle control valve okay uh, and we're going to do it without removing it usually in most vehicles the directions is to move it and i think i figure out a way to do it without moving it let's see if we're going to be successful right we don't know yet <laughs> we're right. going to find out so stick around we're going to show you every step of what we're doing and then in the end we're going to tell you if it works or not. So we're working in a toyota 4runner but the process will be similar for every vehicle right mm -hmm. so to get the way of the land we're going to start here which is the uh, air filter housing right okay and then we're going to move on and you're going to be a sensor which is the mass airflow sensor here that will be somewhere close to the housing mm -hmm. then we have some ducting if you were mm -hmm. and here is the body throttle throttle body the throttle body okay body throttle throttle body same thing right so we're going to remove this uh hose mm -hmm. we're going to attempt to because this section has a crack in it and you want to replace it correct okay and I'll show you the crack when we remove it. Okay. That disconnected. That disconnected easy. Was Un it even connected? Unclick, it was connected. Unclick, okay. Unclick. And for this, we've got a couple of... It doesn't look like I secured them too much last time. Okay. We've got a couple of uh, just Phillips head screws. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think I need to remove that. Okay, we were trying to do it without taking the whole thing apart, but clearly that's not happening. And this hose needs to come off there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that piece is out. Find a nice flat surface like your other car to lay it on. Right. So now we should be able to move this out. And this is very stiff. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a pretty decent crack in there. I would think that we're having some mm -hmm. air mixture issues there, right? right? Right. Now, a couple of things we want to do. If you look at the bottom throttle here, bottom the throttle, throttle body. The throttle. <laughs> you might want to come around next. I can see. Our valve, the thing that we're looking at, is actually right here. Okay. This is idle control valve and it's going to be in every car close to the throttle body and you're looking at for two things You're going to see two hoses one and two Okay, and these are coolant hoses mm -hmm. That's why most people say that you need to remove that in order to clean it and I'm not going to remove it I'll show you how to do it instead. Okay. Okay. So this is the vacuum hose as part of the What is it called? It is the throttle control valve. Okay, and we remove this this hose mm -hmm. Put it all away. Okay. And then we're going to get some uh, cleaner, a throttle body cleaner. Okay. And we're going to, I mean, the anatomy, you see this opening there? Yes. This is with the thing closed like it is now. This is where the, the, the engine gets air from. Mm -hmm. But in order for this to happen, this valve has to open. Right? Okay. And that's so, what controls it and makes right. it work or not work. And that's why it controls the idle. Okay. So in order to take it off, which is a much more major disassembly than mm -hmm. the already bad disassembly we've done, right? What we're going to do is put the cleaner through this hole okay. and we should start see it coming out of this hole. If it is not coming, it's very obstructed. And if it doesn't come at all, then we we'll probably have to remove it, right? Okay. But if it starts coming mm -hmm. and comes out freely, we know that we have flow. Okay, so I'm going to back it up just a little bit so we can get a better picture right. of the engine as a whole. So again, this is the left side of the engine compartment. This is where the 
um, air filter housing is. Mm -hmm. This is where the hose came through and was connecting back up in there. And this is underneath that hose that we right. took off that was cracked. And they just were identified. It will be somewhere very close to this, right? Because he has to have access to the mm -hmm. air. Right. So, so we're talking about any car in general, but for right. this specific model, this is where it is. Correct. And you will know you're in the throttle control body valve because it's going to have two coolant hoses, mm -hmm. an inlet and an outlet, and one air vacuum hose. And we remove the vacuum hose because as we spray down, we should see our fluid coming out of there. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. It's important you use the correct liquid here, right? And this mm -hmm. is a throttle body and air intake cleaner, mm -hmm. as you can see here. Not sponsored. Right, CRC is a brand, there are other brands. Mm -hmm. I happen to like CRC, right? Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it on that opening. Okay. And if things go well, we should see it coming out of the... So the idea is you're spraying it right. here, and then we're going to see it come out there. That's what we hope. Okay. We ready? Yep. Is it coming? I see, oh, there we go. There we go. So we're going to do that for a little bit until we clean it and we see a good flow out of it, okay? Use throttle body cleaner on my arm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting a lot of body cleaner on me too, so... Mm -hmm. I think it flows pretty freely. Yeah. It's flowing pretty freely right now. You can see it coming out like a fountain. Okay. So we should be clean, I would think. What do you think? I would think so. When you take a new part, double check is the correct part. Mm-hmm. And in this, we have a little cut out here that you can see as well, right? Yeah. So we think this is the correct part. Yeah. The only thing is that the new part did not come with the clamp, so we'll have to recycle those. Correct. Okay. So sometimes these are made for multiple cars and they might not all need this opening. So you can see it's there, but it is, it Hold has on. a little flap. So it's a tab. Right. That's got a little extra flap there. Now, so we're going to cut that. Because on, on the old one that was cut out. Yeah, because it actually, it uses to register. Okay. And we're being specific about this and using a knife instead of just like tearing it up. Right? Yeah, you don't want to tear it up because again, this is an air. This this is supposed to move air, right? Mm -hmm. So if you tear it up, you can have a leak. Mm -hmm. And a leak is not desirable. And then the whole point of replacing this is gone. Yeah, I don't think we'll get as big a leak as we had on the old one. And to put that in perspective, let's show you the old one. Mm -hmm. Really big leak. And this is almost solid. I mean, it doesn't feel pliable right. at all. So right? while this is a rubber, you can still kind of go like this and you can feel it flexing. This is old enough that it's actually almost hardened. Right. It's just not the same. Well, it is hardened, but it's almost completely not movable. Okay. So both of the, the clamps are on the new part. I think it goes this way, right? I think so. And so then, we need to open this too, it looks like. Okay. Did we open the wrong one? No, they're both open on this one. Okay. See? Both of them are open on this one, so we're going to go ahead and open that one. And then we'll get ready to Before we install things. start installing everything else, we do have to remember to put this vacuum hose back on to... What's this part called again? This is the uh, in, uh, uh, idle control. The idle valve. control. And as you see, this tool makes it very easy, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a very long-handled pliers that has a little circle on the end that helps grab the hose without puncturing it and helps you put it back on. Right, and as you can see, you need to make sure you sit it correctly because that's what makes the whole system work, right? Mm -hmm. Again, so you want it to be fully seated because you don't want a vacuum leak there. Right. And then the next step is we're going to, I think it's easier, oh, if, I think it would be easier if we uh, uh, attach this hose first here this on the whole, body. Yeah. the whole body there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see the tab there, I think, right? It's right there. I don't know if you yeah. can see it or not. So those tabs are important. They help us orient. In mm -hmm. fact, we almost made a mistake. Right. And the tab is what saved us, right? The tab right. says, no, you cannot do that. Okay. Okay. And so then we're going to retighten that. Go ahead. Okay. And I think we're good. Okay. Okay. So as you're putting it down, it feeds into that again. Ooh, came off. What came off? This part. Right, yeah. Sometimes you do have to wiggle things. Especially with intakes. You know? Mm -hmm. I think we're good there. And you see the tap again clicked? Mm -hmm. Where it's supposed to? Nice. 
So this tab, it lined up perfectly. That's great. Okay. And then we'll just take the, the drill and you don't have to have a drill. We just like power tools. Right. You can use it with a screwdriver. It's just a Phillips head. Tighten that back up. Make sure that it's going to stay. Right. Mm -hmm. That's important. Right. And then we have at least one vacuum hose to connect, which is mm -hmm. this one. Right. There's this one here too in the right. front. It needs to come back on. Again, and fully seated. This one clips there just to be held in place. Is it there or there? No, there. Yep. And we are back together. And this, does it need to be tightened? Because we pulled that off real easy. It doesn't move around. So I think okay. we're good. And it doesn't need to be? No, I think we're good. Okay. So now what? Because you see, we cannot even rotate it. Okay. So. So now we're going to start it and see if A, does it start? <laughs> uh -huh. And B, does it give us a good uh, response to when it warms up to the idle? Right. So we're going to, to test drive it a little bit. Okay. And see what it does. Uh, let's say it is not, let's make sure it's not worse than before, right? Yeah. So it starts, which it was doing before. Mm, yeah. Right? So, so we didn't screw it up. Not in that way. Now we have to drive it a little bit around until it gets normal operating temperature at which point the AAC is going to control the idle mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> I know so we just stopped and uh, turned into a main road and uh, the car behaved clearly it is, the computer is still learning, right? Mm -hmm. but we can see some difference in performance yeah. already Chug, chug, chug. Yeah. It knows when the camera is on. It's like James. Yeah. Except James hides from the camera. Right. And this misbehaves for the camera, right? Yes, indeed. It was actually driving very smoothly. It did a very nice acceleration and then it started chug, chug, chugging again. You want me to stop completely? Yeah, let's stop and see what happens. Okay. Full stop. There we go. There we go. Okay. And the sun is blinding us. No. Yes, it is. Uh, these people are probably like. Biro, Biro. So here we are. We just finished a test drive, right? Yep. And in the test drive, we also stopped and did a, an idle relearn procedure. Procedure? Procedure. Mm -hmm. And um, the car definitely drives better, right? Mm -hmm. We're probably going to do a little more troubleshooting and make sure there is not another hose that has a, a defect. Mm -hmm. But also we need to drive it for maybe 20-30 minutes to let the computer get used to the new data. Right. But overall, how you will evaluate it, Alpita? Successful Overall, failure? successful. We were definitely seeing some improvement in its performance. It wasn't dying when we were taking off from a dead stop, uh, which it, it had consistently been doing before. Um, right. So clearly having this new hose and the whole thing and cleaning the yes cleaning it and, and doing the relearn has definitely because if i remember correctly when we started nothing flew through the valve and then it started flowing right, right so right. something was obstructing the valve mm -hmm. right? yeah and then it was free flowing right so we think the valve was a little bit of a problem the hose was a little bit of a problem and we might clean the mass airflow uh, sensor, sensor as well if we did if we feel okay. we need to improve the, the performance even more right. But I think your next step is to drive it for a right. more extended period of time to let the computer continue learning right. and then, then go from there, right? And ultimately, I want to do a tune-up, change spark plugs, a lot of the little things. Mm -hmm. This car has not had a lot loved for a long time. So right. We right. definitely need to give it a little bit of love, I think. But even with all that, it runs really well, and it starts every time, and it sounds good. Yeah. I think we, we, we don't have any major issues. Mm -hmm. and, and when we bought it, we knew the car had a little bit of hesitation, so we... We right. knew something minor was right was happening, and you know, as I said, and and spark plug will definitely make a difference. But overall, I think I would call this a success. How about you? Yep, me too. All right. Well, we hope this short video was uh, of some use to you guys, and if it was, we'll appreciate the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us two thumbs down. Share, like, subscribe. Let us know what other uh, videos you would like to see in our channel. From Professor DIY and Rupita, stay safe, friends.